Whether your kids are always scrolling through Instagram or well, catching up on TikTok's latest dance trend, a new proposal in the Wisconsin legislature is seeking to limit that access. Nicole Herzog has the story. Nicole? The Republican sponsor of this bill tells me it's a critical measure to keep kids safe online. But one social media expert I talked to says it's not always a one-size-fits-all solution. Roughly 800,000 kids are using social media every day in Wisconsin. But Representative David Steffen says too much is never a good thing. It's been the wild, wild electronic west as it relates to social media over the last 20 years. And it's important that we provide some protections. Stefan introduced a proposal this week that would ban anyone under 18 from using social media between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. It would require parental consent for minors to create a social media account, giving parents full access to who can reach their kids through messaging and advertising. It used to be a generation ago that you could protect your kids by just having them inside your home at night. But now the danger exists right in the own home, right in right in your children's bedroom. Social media use among children has been linked to things like anxiety, depression, and sleep-related issues, especially among teen girls. But Brad Brown, who studies social media use among adolescents, says a widespread ban wouldn't cater to the needs of each age group. 13-year-olds are different than 17-year-olds, and some 15-year-olds are much more mature than other 15-year-olds. One of the biggest challenges facing the proposal, enforcing it. If the bill is signed into law, social media companies who fail to restrict kids will face a $100 daily fine. It may be an awful lot of effort on the part of social media companies to comply with the restrictions, only to find that a lot of teenagers have gone to a little bit of effort to certainly work around them. Brown suggests parents monitor their kids on a case-by-case -case basis, which can involve a cutoff time or managing the content they see. And parents should feel very comfortable at setting rules early on in young people's social media use and then adjusting those rules as young people get more mature and more responsible. The bill is modeled after a Utah law that also restricts social media access for children. But in Wisconsin's version, anyone who created a social media account before 2019 would not be impacted. And if it's passed, it would take effect in August of next year.